You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. The world is going to need you to build a better day after. We've come a really long way when it comes to adapting video games to TV and cinema. You're alive. Too bad you will die. Better. Now, the Fallout TV series is out and put any major worries to rest when it launched alongside rave reviews from critics with almost nothing but love pouring in over social media from fans and newcomers alike. Well, unless you're one of those sad people that feed off of outrage and clickbait. If the show's got you itching to play the Fallout games again or for the first time, then you're not alone. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! But before I get to that, I want to gush over the show just a little bit more. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. It's such a fantastic adaptation of the game and its world, somehow implementing almost everything from the games to make fans go <laughs> without cheapening it with cheesy winks to its audience either. It's so abundantly clear that Jonathan Nolan and his crew are fans of the game and understand what it feels like to actually experience the world of Fallout, whether it's capturing the feeling of stepping out of the vault for the first time, walking the wastelands, or the way you feel the first time you arrive in Diamond City or Megaton. They understand it, they get it, and you can feel it. There's a lot of work that went into making sure that this series continues to build on the world of Fallout rather than changing it. Isn't it so weird how shows that don't try to take a dump on their established popular source material end up being better than the shows that do the other thing? Everyone has their own version of what what they would want in The Witcher. As expected and seen in the past with adaptations like The Witcher, stats are up and gamers around the world are all jumping back into Fallout or giving it a go for the first time. If you're thinking the same thing and aren't sure where to go, you've got some great options. The old games are rocking high resolutions and smooth frame rates on the new Xboxes thanks to their great backwards compatibility and enhancement features. They're available on Game Pass and there's also currently a great sale with tons of them for 75% off on PC, Xbox and the PlayStation. It's also just been announced that Fallout 4 is receiving a long-awaited next-generation update on April 25th, which includes performance and quality mode settings, as well as stability improvements and fixes, 60 FPS, and increased resolutions. Then again, if you've got the PC to handle it, there are crazy mods out there that already make Fallout 4 look like a game from the future. How is this even the same game? If you're like, whoa, 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 I'm just a casual that liked the show and this all seems like a little much, then the free-to-play Fallout Shelter has your back. The Fallout 4 update is great news, but it feels like a complete missed opportunity to not have a brand new game like Fallout 5 arriving soon to capitalize on the success of the show. And with Bethesda recently releasing and focusing on the future of Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6 still years away, we might legitimately only get a new Fallout entry scarily close to 2029 or beyond. Unless something changes due to the success of the show, that is. For now, we've got some great existing games to play, a great show to watch, and it looks like a second season is pretty much a given. If you haven't checked out the show or played the games yet, I hope you have a great time experiencing the wastelands. Fallout looks very different now compared to how it used to look back in the 90s. From the original games to Tactics to Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas, and even the online MMO. Which Fallout has been your favorite and what would you like to see in Fallout 5? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button to let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. A veritable Camelot, the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man.